What fragrances are overhyped? I asked my Instagram audience, what fragrance do you feel is overhyped in the game? We're gonna read those responses out loud and see if I agree or disagree with some of the commentary. So let's see if Instagram knows what they're talking about. Let's roll my music so we can check out these fragrances are overhyped for real. Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Hey. See a 40 year old with his tits flopping around. You know, dad bodies is back. As mentioned, I asked on Instagram what fragrances they felt are overhyped that people talk about, people absolutely love, including myself, that they feel, nah, joints played out, it's not worth it, whatever the case may be. So we're gonna go right through. I'm gonna start reading them from my phone and see what some of the responses are. And man, it's going to be interesting. So let's see what some of the responses are. So the first person said, the Zed creators lineup. They feel that it's overhyped. Is it a big hype? I'm trying to think like, yeah, they're content creators like myself that now have two fragrances released that I was actually gonna be part of, but I didn't. Do I feel that they're overhyped? I don't know, I think that they're kind of leveled off. I don't feel like other content creators are hyping them. Cause it's not something that I see like on my Instagram feed. Again, I don't watch many other content creators, but sometimes I see the thumbnails or whatever the case may be. I don't feel that other content creators are hyping them. They are hyping their fragrances or they're boosting their fragrances as they should. So I don't see who's hyping them. I don't feel like they're overhyped. I don't even feel like they're hyped, to be honest with you. So I disagree. Now, next person said, Baccarat Rouge 540, every version. It is, it, it is overhyped, but it's a great scent profile though. It's, it's overhyped for a reason. I think the popularity has just gotten to a place where it's just obnoxious. Like back when I first discovered it, maybe seven years ago, I thought it was a phenomenal fragrance. One of the most like jarring sweet fragrances that I've experienced ever. Nowadays with all the clones and different variations, do I feel it's overhyped? A bit, it is overhyped, but it's a really good scent profile that works. It's signature scent worthy, it sells consistently. So it is a little bit overhyped. Okay, so I got one that says Lillian's Angel Share. I'm pretty sure he meant Killian's Angel Share. Killian's Angel Share got a stupid amount of hype right now, but I think it's a well worth it hype. I mean, the scent is fire as shit. The boozy, the sweetness, that element right now that everybody's trying to copy, yeah, it's crazy hype right now. Right now it's having the biggest surge that I think it's ever had, and it's a beautiful scent profile. So it is crazy hype, but I don't think it's overhyped. I think it's warranted. It's a great scent. Multiple people are saying Aventus. Yes, another great scent that obviously is great because it's copied by everyone. Designer, clone, it is copied by everyone, but yes, I agree, it is overhyped. The price point just doesn't move. As a matter of fact, I think retail-wise, the price has increased a little bit, so yeah, I think Aventus is a little bit overhyped. It's become kind of a fuckboy scent profile. It used to be something for the upper echelon, the bougie, the sexy, the mature or whatever, but I think it's a little bit like, all right, keep it pushing. Like I'll, I'll wear a fucking clone. Next one. Dior Sauvage. Yes, overhyped. Again, overhyped doesn't mean that these fragrances aren't good. It's just that everybody boosts them. And I think uh, Dior Sauvage, is, it's a great scent profile also. I prefer the Elixir version, but Dior Sauvage itself, as far as EDT or EDP concentrations, yes, it's another fuckboy fragrance along with the Aventus that is worn by tons of people, but it does garner the compliments that these people are looking for. So yes, I do feel it is overhyped. And will I miss it if it's gone? Not a chance, next one. Every Latafa fragrance. Listen, I'm in the pool of boosting a lot of Latafa fragrances. I feel like the first run of Latafa fragrances that I've gotten to experience were bangers, man. They were so good. And I still feel that same energy. The first run, I think it was maybe, I'm gonna say maybe the first five or six videos that I did of Latafa fragrances and really getting to smell them. I love them. And I feel like it went hard stop and everything just started getting weak or boring or just bullshitty. Like I really started to like decline. Like now it used to be when I purchased a Latafa fragrance, I would get hype off of it. I'm like, yo, this is gonna be another banger, banger after banger after banger. And now when I buy a Latafa fragrance, it's more so like, ugh, I hope this redeems itself. Please redeem itself. No, you failed. So at this point, yeah, Latafa's kind of falling off. Next one. Wow, there's a lot of answers here. I might have to do a part two of some of these. There's a lot of Sauvage and Aventus up in here. Let's see, Nishane Annie. Are you smoking rocks? Nishane Annie is 
fire. Completely disagree. That joint is lit. You bob it. Next one. La Labo Santal 33. Could not agree more. The New York scent. That shit is just, doesn't do shit for me. I liked it, but it just became a headache inducing scent profile for me. Really did not tickle my hymen. My ovaries did not get excited. Shit was not lit in these streets. It isn't a New York scent profile for me. Me and the House of the Labo have this weird love-hate type relationship. It just feels like it's overly synthetic, too strong in the, in the aroma chemicals, real punchy, real scratchy. Not something that I really wanna wear. I don't wanna wait like 20 minutes for the aroma chemicals to really settle down on my skin that sharpness that over sharpness then start appreciating the fragrance it's just not my type of vibe so yeah i definitely feel that santal 33 for me is overhyped so these are some of the fragrances on part one of overhyped joints let me know what you guys think and what fragrances you feel are overhyped i know there's gonna be like 10 people in the comments just to tickle my ball sack tuxedo is overhyped so you suck balls i love y'all mother suckers from the heart and i'll see y'all snitches next time leave in the comments below what fragrance is you feel overhyped and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches.